but I can't believe I found you. Like, I can't believe I am. I can't believe. Why are we friends? Like, like I'm trying to remember, like, 100%. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Sattva. I have been asked about Sattva so much from friends, from family, from fans, and I endorse them the same. I just got a call this week from my cousin. I need to get a new mattress. I said, without question, go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. I have been sleeping on Sattva mattresses for over a decade now. Never been anything but completely fulfilled and happy with what I got from them. They have every type of mattress. It's all about your preference. Do you want that traditional mattress that's just luxurious and firm? Do you want a memory foam mattress? Do you want a vibrating mattress? They have it all. And they're all super high quality, environmentally friendly, great customer service. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Ready in Chamesh. Arba. Shalosh, Stein? Man, he just got back from the Wailing Wall and he just keeps dropping it on us. Um, <laughs> July 24th, I'm going to be at Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. It's my Ooh. second show there. I'm very excited. And uh, if you missed it last week, I believe I announced I am doing a tour in Australia and New Zealand after the new year. All those are at TomSegura.com slash tour. Birdie Boy is doing the fully loaded Fully Loaded is Festival. in two weeks, June sixteenth. Yep. Yeah, June sixteenth. Get your tickets. We are in ready, ready. This is how I can I can remember my tours by this way. It goes uh, South Bend, Louisville, Dayton, uh, Rochester, then Greenville, Lawrenceville, Brandon, and Bristol. That's pretty Brandon, good. I'm ready to do the right. I want to get you. I want to get your. Uh, I want to get. Oh, and then I will be at Red Rocks. Oh yeah, yeah. Does, so did we announced on the exact same day? That wasn't great business. We're fucking morons. Yeah, yeah. We announced on the exact same day. Hey, do you guys have a fixed income? Would you do you ever room enough for one well, set of tickets or a tour? Yeah. I'm on Red Rock September 9th, and Wilco is playing the next the night. Next fucking night. last time you had Jimmy Buffett, dude, and you got to hang out. I just go want Jeff salt, to, I salt, just... salt. <laughs> what? <laughs> margarita yeah i could go for a margarita right now i believe you um uh jeff tweedy has no idea what he's in store for have you ever met him nope and i will cry when i meet him you will cry i'm gonna cry it's gonna get uncomfortable i bet he leaves the room i bet he leaves the room i bet do you think security escorts you i bet i bet someone (laughs) escorts me out i bet someone escorts me out yeah oh i'm gonna wear a cool hat Ooh, maybe i'll buy him a hat i'll buy him a present i'm gonna by the way i'm maybe uh maybe get those head measurements first you know he looks like he's got a big head. Well, get the specifics and go Ready? full Bert on it. You got to get him a, like, add a lot, you know, custom. Oh, oh I'm a lot of razzle dazzle. Yeah. The, I'm going to, I'm going to creep him out. I'm going to let him know right now. Someone get this to Jeff Tweedy. I will be at Red Rocks the day before. I I already sent invites to have the I will band. say this. I know this. I know certain things about you, like, would be automated answers from if somebody asked me, they're like, you know, like, does Bert you know like to sleep i'd be like no you know does bert party yes what's his favorite vodka tito's like i would just like and if somebody said do you know honestly if somebody said do you know what's bert's favorite band i go wilco yeah I've, I've, I've known that about you for years yeah I, i've i've seen them live every time they've ever come to la i my marketing for my comedy my the way i run my career is based on the way wilco doesn't run their career like i i i I have, I have a bone to pick with Wilco in that they don't market enough. Oh, they, mar- they, but I, you know, I'm, I'm certain. So like, you know, like sometimes you do a, a gig mm-hmm. and you get a guarantee. So then it doesn't matter if you sell it out or not. Right. You, you still want to, but yeah, you still want to, but if it doesn't matter, I get, I bet they have a guarantee when they do these gigs. And so it doesn't matter if he sells it out. I don't I'm sure he's been doing it long enough. That when like, did you start listening to Wilco? I started listening to Wilco. Ooh, that's a great question. So in... 1999 that's when 1999 i started listening to wilco and and i i discovered the first song i heard and then and then and then that's they a, atlanta based am i wrong no Is they're it? for chicago chicago oh. and so and then in 2001 i discovered uh the documentary 
uh, are, am I try? Are you trying to break my heart? Type in the documentary. This documentary is fucking amazing. Uh, I think that's the name of the documentary. This is Type a in doc. A doc about them? Yeah. So this documentary. Oh, a film about Wilco. I am trying to break your heart. I, I am trying to break your heart. My bad. And so this is a documentary. What happened is they made this album. I am trying to break your heart. I'm dyslexic. So I, when I see things, I read them. I just read them the way I see them. Mm -hmm. They were making this album. I think the name of the album is I'm trying to break your heart. And they had a deal at like whatever capital. And they went in and gave them the album. And the people were like, we don't like it. And they're like, what? And they're like, re-record it. And they're like, no, this is the album we're doing. What's the matter in it off? And, uh, and then this is a whole documentary about them making that album, them writing the songs. And then them not getting, they didn't, no one liked it. So then they got their album back and then they released it online. And it fucking exploded. exploded. And and then all of a sudden people were like, hey, how do we get a hold of that album? This is the equivalent kind of, I mean, not exactly the same, but like uh, YouTube specials, which I'm the biggest proponent. Of. Like I love yeah. comics doing YouTube specials because you get to just put it out there on a platform that everybody has. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it. I mean, I, I thought this would happen. I thought this would happen, especially... Like when I, I think when I got like my second special. I just had a brilliant idea. Oh, yeah. I just had a brilliant idea. I just had a brilliant idea. Keep going. Okay. Um, and I remember that everybody that was hit, like, would talk, but comics would be like, how do I get help? Like, I don't know. And then they would be, everybody would be so disappointed when they'd go, Netflix didn't get one. And it was right there already, YouTube meaning. And I was like, looking back, I was like, oh man, they everybody should should have been doing that. Mark Norman has ten million views on this special. On yeah, YouTube. ten million. Ten million is ten is, million people. You only need eighty thousand people to make a good living. Sure, you need eighty thousand people to go see you on tour. Yeah, dude, you're ten fucking. million uh, on that. I don't know how many millions, but millions also on Shane Gillis special. Um, Shane uh, Gillis, Sam Morell's done, done it. Um, uh, Schultz has done it. Uh, who else? Schultz did it? didn't do it. Yeah, he like, that was like his first thing that he did was put out really stand up on on YouTube for sure. I thought he did a Netflix special. No, no, you're maybe recently, but I'm saying to 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 start. Oh no, he did a he did an Amazon. No, I no, I think he was. I think he was about to shoot a special. I don't remember. Okay, uh, but keep going. But so Giannis, that, that's what Giannis Papas, Giannis Papas Joe, yeah, List. Joe List. But it's like you don't. You can just take your your material. And put it out there, and people will find it, and 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 you you see those numbers just grow, and then that translates into ticket sales and new fans and all that shit. It's, here's, it's brilliant. Here's what here's what really got me with Wilco. Like okay. this is what really got. Is me. Is this your brilliant idea or this? No, is no, just, no. Okay. I'll give you my brilliant idea. I'm going to tell you my brilliant idea off air. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And so so I I I, I watched this album. I get this album, and it all of a sudden I'm in Sacramento, and I'm trying to break your heart clicks with me it really clicks with me and i listened to it the whole ride back George, we're pregnant with georgia and uh i listened to uh i'm the man who loves you oh see this is why i'm gonna cry if i meet jeff tweedy mm -hmm. i this is why i'll cry when i meet him this is gonna creep him the fuck out I listened to that. I listened to. I listened to Wilco when I took Georgia home from the hospital. Okay, and so like that was my whole shit when I was a brand new dad, and I remember uh, all my all the guys I knew in L.A. that were all dads, all were into Wilco, and they were like, "Yeah, it's like dad music, right?" Yeah, and I was like, I was like, I, I didn't want it. To, I wanted to be. I didn't want to talk about being a dad on stage, and I wanted to be cool. But then you go to these concerts and it was all dudes. It was all dudes that were like executives or like production producers yeah, or, yeah. and it was like all comics. And I went to so many of his fucking shows when he'd come to LA. And uh, and then here's what got me. They did this thing called the living room shows. Will you type in Wilco living room shows? I would love to find these again. These were hard. I don't I don't know if you can even find them. Is it, see if you can find them. So Wilco, Jeff Tweedy's wife, Jeff Tweedy's wife's a savage, a fucking savage. She's the shit. Like she is 
the, you know, people say like, you know, where would you be without Leanne? I'd be like, fucking nowhere. I mean, nowhere. I would never have succeeded. <laughs> Jeff Tweedy's wife is the only reason we know Wilco. Really? Dude. Yeah. This woman has, this is my perspective. And I, by the way, I don't know where I'm getting this from, but she has fucking spackled this dude uh, into shape. I mean, he, he was, he, I, and by the way, I don't, I'm sorry if Jeff Tweedy's like upset about whatever I'm saying. I think he had a heroin addiction, a pill addiction. He did, he went, I went through all of it. And this woman stuck by him, kept him together. She was like a bar owner. She owned a bar that Fred, uh, Fred, uh, Armisen used to work at Chicago. Fred Armisen and, and Jeff Tweedy are like best friends. Really? Yeah. And I know By so much way, about fucking Jeff Tweedy. Here's your living room thing. Um, so he would, his wife would, for 25 grand, his wife would let Jeff Tweedy. By the way, Jeff Tweedy, I'll give you $100,000 to play in my backyard. I'll give you $100,000 to play in my backyard. I will give you, and I'll donate it to whatever charity you want. Oh, there we go. I will give you a hundred. Oh, because that's his thing. He goes to yeah, his yeah. living room shows. You pick the playlist. They pick the playlist, right? Yeah. He plays in their living room, acoustic. And, it, and And I got all four of them. He did four of them. I had four of them. I had them in, when Leanne had a, the Mercedes, I had them in in the in the the, cons, the thing what's a good starting point for me to uh, uh listen to i couldn't a, even tell you their, their catalog's so big right now but what would you start with uh 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 my anthem is wilco wilco like uh their song wilco they have a That's, song called wilco a song called wilco and that was the I fat mean, boys are back yeah yeah and so when i was on travel channel one of my favorite memories i've ever had in my entire life wilco yeah. the album and then the first song's Wilco. That's my, that's my that's my my do shit song. So like when we were in Travel Channel, one of my favorite memories ever. We ride motorcycles up into Crow territory. We hunt buffalo. We take a helicopter back to the top of a mountain. I get all my motorcycle. Sun setting, and we're going down to a bar to oh, that's a hotel that we're staying at that has a bar. Mm -hmm. I have not had a drink. I get on the motorcycle, and I I throw in my headsets and I play Wilco Wilco the song. And Wilco's Wilco, and the sun is setting. I'm going. Th I'm on top of a mountain in Crow territory, in in out in the Montana, I think Montana or South Dakota, and a pack of wild horses runs up next to me on my motorcycle and is keeping fucking pace with me. I am riding next to fucking wild motorcycles, listening to dun 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 dun, dun. and I'm like fucking yeah, woo. Wilco loves you, baby. And I'm fucking like, yeah. I'm like, dude, greatest fucking memory. <laughs> Going in through the canyons. Wild fucking horses. Tom, I actually stopped my motorcycle at one point when, is anyone seeing this? <laughs> it was a fucking, but I did. I'm skiing in Switzerland. I'm skiing in Switzerland and I'm listening to Wilco. And I fucking have this great moment on top of a fucking mountain. I'm listening to, I listen to Wilco all the time. And when, dude, guy, you know what you would fucking be amazing as? A drug addict. <laughs> Well, do what? you remember Billy Mays? Wait, the, the the sales guy? Yes. Yeah, dude, you could pick like if comedy shut down, you could pick up exactly where he was. Great job on that convince guy. Convince me to buy anything. I really think you could. If I, I if I'm in love with it, I no, bet I you're know. right. I bet you're right. I bet you could. You with baking soda? I mean, we would all be leaving here with fucking 20 orders of baking soda can i tell you what business i'd like to get into sure the recovery business recovery recovery uh drugs and alcohol <laughs> yeah but the morning after what is that i don't know i want to get i want to be i want i always get approached by alcohol companies to like hey you want to fucking do some alcohol stuff They'll do it do it for me now i, I don't i don't want to do alcohol no do the pitch for what you're uh, talking about. My my pitch is I'm I'm saying it to a company. There's gotta be a company out there that gets me. Yeah. That gets me. Cause I'm the guy. Are you the kind of guy that likes to stay up late night and have the second bottle of wine? Are you the kind of guy that goes, just one more episode? One more episode and a glass of wine. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to go out to the back. I want to smoke a cigar and have a drink while the family's asleep. But I got a busy day tomorrow. I can fix that. Just one shot of Burt in the morning, and we're clean. That's what I need. I need a doctor, like to, a like a detox. I want thing? A de I want something where I fucking pound it, and it's and I'm like, I I, I, mean, I look. I got got to be honest with you. Liquid IV is pretty fucking good, and yeah. they're a sponsor of ours. We do that every morning. 
but I need liquid IV with a punch. What about some kratom or something? I want, I want some. I want like a big punch in the dick in the morning. I want. I want someone. I want to feel like someone grabbed my dick and pulled me out of bed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's the feeling I want to feel in the morning. And that's what I'm searching for. I'm going to talk to Rogan about it tomorrow. I'm going to talk about the doctors at, at the, the stem cells. Yeah. I want, I want this much illegal. Like I want, here's what I want. I want a, I want a, I want a, a, a trace amount of cocaine in it. A trace amount of cocaine. Yeah. Like I want, I want to, I, I want to get out of bed and I want to fucking kill what I, I want, I want it to make coffee look soft yeah people yeah. Are like it was coffee Ugh. why are you having coffee you can take the birdie bomb take, take yeah. the birdie bomb yeah you take a birdie bomb and it's and it's like it's like i remember one time they, they had this uh this this energy drink called nitrous oxide yeah and i drank it and i remember being like i think i want to go jack off like it was yeah. like fucking great <laughs> yeah. i want that but i also want it to make you healthy i want it to have glutathione so it cleans out your liver okay i want to have um I want it to have a little bit of Xanax, so it's like it's like a like there's nothing better than a Xanax like accidentally in the morning when you go. Ooh, I think that was in my pill jar. I think I just took the wrong pill. But that, doesn't that just bring you down too much? No, I no. must took one this morning. Wait, why does that not bring you down? Though? No, it doesn't. What does it do to you? I don't know. I can't even. I, I'm, I'm, I need something. I want the hair of the dog, but I want the dog. I want the dog. Like I want. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing better than a cocktail if you've been if you're hungover. That cocktail rightens your boat. I want, I want to be in the business of recovery. I want to be in the business of recovery. There's got to be a company that knows me. I get all. I need Aubrey Marcus. Here's what I need. I need a shaman. I need Aubrey Marcus. I need a scientist, doctor. Yeah. I need the doctor, and and I want, I want a weekend, and we'll test things out. <laughs> I think they're going to tell you definitely scratch the uh, Xanax as part of it. It would be great if you get like the cocoa leaves where you just yeah. chew them up. Do you ever do that when you went to Peru? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Is it like Coke? No. And the, and you do Coca tea. You drink Coca tea too. It's a tea made from it. And it is it? It levels you out at high altitude. Oh, I want a little bit of Kava Kava in it. Okay. Have you ever had Kava Kava? No. Kava Kava, we were in Fiji and they would drink they drink bowls of Kava Kava and, uh, and it kind of makes you go... Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> we did it for Travel Channel. I was listening to Wilco on that boat, definitely. But the funniest part is, <laughs> Kava Kava. Let me see what's it. What's it? What is it? Do? What does Kava 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 do? Hit that first drop down. It, uh, contains whatever they act much like alcohol in your brain, making you feel calm, relaxed, and happy. The plant also thought to relieve pain, prevent seizures, and relax muscles. You can buy it as an herbal supplement online and at health food store. That could be part of your drink. Yeah, we'll throw some kava kava in there. I want a cocktail. I want a, I want a, like a, a pill you got to bite into almost. I want it to be like, I really want, when we did kava kava, that we did it with this young lady who lives in Missouri, who's fairly religious and uh, has never ever, even drank alcohol. And they're passing around kava kava, and she, she, I've never laughed harder. She's the sweetest girl. See if you see Bert Trip Flip Fiji. She's really a, just adorable. I've have stayed in touch with her and her husband. Her husband worked uh, at uh, never mind. And so she drinks kava kava with me, and they're like passing it around. She drinks it, drinks the whole thing, hands it, and he goes, she goes, "Did I just do drugs?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you did. She goes, I can't show my parents this. <laughs> she was she was awesome. Did I just do drugs? That's her. Yeah, he was on the boat. We had a great fucking time. That was a fun show. Trip flip. It was yeah, like, it was a lot like being a whore though. <sighs> How so? Because I, I I didn't. I was like, what was I gonna do? It was it was like good money. It was like, yeah. wasn't even good money. I mean, yeah. Now that I look back, it was like money. I was gone from my family the entire time. Yeah. I was living with other people that I now know. I know all of them. Like guy, 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 that guy Gabe. Yeah. Remember the remember? Have I ever told you about the professional whistler? Mm -mm. This guy Gabe. I've told so many people about it. He's a professional whistler. We were in Costa Rica. We're playing the guitar. Someone's like, "Hey, does anyone play any other instruments?" And he just goes, "I'm, I'm a professional whistler." And he was wait. Is he crew? No, he's one of the cast member. Oh. And I said, uh, you're never going to find him online. Oh, wait, there he is. That's crazy. That's so funny. Oh, it's just a tweet. Well, I ran into him. I ran into him in Boise. He lives in Boise. He's still with the same chick. They're married. And, uh, and, I, and I've, been, I've always talked about this. He was, 
he were at the part at the fire and i was like he's like i'm a professional whistler and I, every, I laughed i was like yeah he was no i'm really a whistler i went we're all good whistlers gabe and he was like no i'm pretty legit and we're like okay and he whistled somewhere under the rainbow and it was like he does like this like I have, there's got to be video of it. I know I shot video of it. I don't know where it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, do you want to feel like uh, this? Then get Burt in a bottle. What is it? What are we going to call my product? Plan B was good. But, plan B. I yeah. like Plan B. Uh, plan B for Burt. Yeah. Plan Burt. Hey, everyone get your fat stick shirt. Yeah, fat stick. By the way, is this what you guys think I look like? <laughs> they gave you a lot of hair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. We associate burnout with work. That's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out, and BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. Personally, I would not know know at all what to do without therapy. I do it every week, and it's the greatest blessing that I have that I have someone that I can share what my stresses are and and just have a real professional talk to me about them. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Bears. That's BetterHelp.com slash Bears. You know those times when you're so into what you're doing that you can't think about anything else? The times when you're at your most focused and productive? Psychologists call that feeling of being in the zone flow state. An alpha brain from Onnit is the ultimate way to get there. A world-renowned nootropic supplement with over 1 million bottles sold. Alpha Brain promotes cognitive functions, including memory, mental speed, and focus. It helps you remember names, zero in on complex tasks, and think more clearly under stress. Alpha Brain contains amino acids and plant compounds that promote the brain's release of alpha waves, which are associated with greater creativity and productivity. At the same time, it supports neurotransmitters, chemicals that relay information in and from the brain. And if for any reason you don't like Alpha Brain, you can get your money back, no return necessary. Save 10% on your order by going to onnit.com slash bears. Where's the fat sticks? Um, wow. You really, you got amped up right now. Is this because you're going to see your parents? Uh-huh. <laughs> you going to come over and have, have a burger with my dad? Uh, I told you. You don't want to. Well, it's not that. It's just that I'm only Six home for like. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's, well, yeah. that's the other thing is like everyone's home for like fucking two days. Yeah. What are you going to spend time? No, we just like, it's just at the house, fuck around. They'll just jump on me and, you know, <laughs> just be crazy. Wait, wait, we wait. went fishing off the dock yesterday. Or maybe I'll take my dad over to see your house. Okay. And he'll be like, whoa, this is a nice big guy. Uh, Yeah, that'd be that. <laughs> You're fucking. So. I was going to ask you. What? <laughs> you're, you're so crazy. Uh, you guys are going to miss me when I'm gone. Yeah, of course we will. I hope so. Like, I hope when I die, people talk about me a lot. They will. You make it I, sound like it's going to happen in a week. It's not. I'm going to outlive a lot of people. I think it's going to yeah, be shocking. I think so, too. Let's list the people I'll live longer than. And then let's take odds on it. You think I'll live longer than Stanhope? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Joey? Yeah. Ari? Yeah. Ari's gonna die. Ari's gonna yeah. Ari's gonna Ari's gonna I bet Ari dies first. Oh my god. I bet he does. I bet no, because Ari does dangerous shit. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. He, we were, we had a conversation about it the other day. Someone was like <laughs> Sorry, Ari, if I'm spoiling the beans. And nothing's a secret with me, okay? Ari called me and he was like, I'm worried about your drinking. I was like, I'm fine. Uh, it was a good, really good conversation. He goes, he goes, I, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I hear stories and I want to make sure you're okay. I think it's because I'm so fat right now that I think when I lose weight, everyone's like, Bert's doing good and I'll still be drinking the same. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so he goes, I said, well, what curbs that, well, how would you do that? Would you just, what, diet, food? Yeah, I'm, 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 when, 
Thursday, Thursday, I go home, nothing. Eating? Uh, I'm eating my trifectas. I do my trifectas on the road right now. And I know I look fucking fat right now. Wait, and when you go, when you're home, you'll drink, you won't drink either? I won't drink. I don't like drink. I don't care to drink at home. I mean, honestly, I, 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 I like it pisses me fucking off that this is what's going to happen. I'm going to come home Friday and Leanne's going to go. Leanne does this thing and fucking makes me crazy. She'll go, I feel like a signature cocktail. And then I, I go, yeah, I always want that. I always want that. But now that I'm not drinking, that's when she wants it. Right. And then I, and then she go, I'm going to get a gin fizz. Would you want one, honey? And I go. Yeah, but I'm not drinking right now. So let's not do gin fizzes because I'm not going to do, she'll do one gin fizz. I go, why am I doing one gin fizz? Give me, unless we're taking a Xanax and doing a gin fizz, I'm not doing one. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I'm going to do a signature cocktail. She'll go, um, we should have friends over tonight. I go, hey, I'm not drinking. Let's not, let's fucking lock it down. Yeah. Let's lock it down. I love, I love not drinking. You go in. Have dinner with the family. You do a workout in the morning. You feel great, right? Have dinner with the family. Everyone goes off to bed. Leanne sits on the couch with all her fucking animals. Mm-hmm. I go out to the man. I go out to the gym, and I get on the treadmill and I just walk. And I fucking think of jokes. And I watch TV. And I fucking tweet. And I, I love it. I love it. I don't tweet really. I've been on Twitter fucking forever. I'll maybe when Elon buys it. But uh, I love not drinking. But then Leanne does this little fucking yeah. I'm, I'm, I kind of want a glass of. Shit. A rosé. Do you want a glass of rosé? And I go, you already know I never say no to rosé. Why okay. would you do that? But I want another bottle of rosé. Well, then, I, well, then, yeah. And then I, I, we, she has one glass. I murder that bottle. And then I'm like, hey, what, what red can I open? And she was like, I, why don't we just go to bed? And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> she is so fucking lucky. She's lucky? <laughs> she really is. What, in what way? Just that she ended up with you? So, like, this is going to sound like a delusional person. No. (laughs) See? You look just like your shirt. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I want to share, everyone. I always say that I don't know why people like you. That's one of my favorite things, those things. But then I just realized other people get to like it, too. Okay. Okay. Um, So, so, uh, so fucking, the other day I'm sitting there and Uh and I'm thinking about, uh, I'm in Tulsa. And I, I, I do this a lot where I go, I I always do this. This is the last time I'll ever do that, right? I go, oh, this is the last time I'll ever do that. I remember one time I was taking a car service from Travel Channel down to a theme park in LA. I was in a car service and I was like, this is the last time I'll ever be in a car service. Like just thinking it all goes away. It all oh, goes away. I'll, oh. I'll never get to fly in a private jet. I, I got to really enjoy this. This is the last time I'm ever doing it. I do that. I, when I do theaters, I, go, I, I think it's a way of me appreciating what I'm having, my yeah. moments. Yeah. So I'm sitting outside Tulsa, and I thought, how did I get here? Like, I really am shocked that I got into theaters. I really am. And I remember I remember distinctly a conversation I had with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan and I were sitting in the bar area by the refrigerator or whatever in the comedy store back where the, you know, by the <sighs> cooks. Yeah. And he said, you need to get on Netflix. I remember it was like someone saying, um... You need to make a million. You should. You should have a million dollars. I remember thinking, like, how the f- Joe? I don't know how to do that. I would like. I yeah. I would like to get on Netflix too. Sure. And he was like, No, you got to get on Netflix. You got to get on Netflix. It's a game changer. You got to get on Netflix. And I was like, I don't know how to do that. And he goes, Be undeniable. And I was like, oh, What do you mean? I goes, well, How am I going to be undeniable? He goes, Be undeniable. And I was like, I, And so like I wrote that in my joke book. Be undeniable. I, and that was my focus. Be undeniable. And then I went. Undeniable is you just murder every time. But but there was no ri- riddle. There was no rhythm to how I could get to Netflix. Sure. And then I'm sitting there going, this is where it's going to turn for, take a turn for the worst. I'm sitting there going, I can't believe I actually got on Netflix. I can't believe it. I go, I can't believe that I got. Didn't you send them a Comedy Works set? No. It, I thought you said we shot. No, I shot one. I shot one to send to them. And then. Uh, and then, then they just offered me an hour without seeing it, without seeing it. Oh yeah. Well, no, they offered me a half hour Oh, and then I, I chose not to do the half hour. And, and I think they were like, what? And I was like, yeah, but I go, the art form's an hour. Like the art form of stand up comedy is one hour. That is one hour. That's what you're supposed to do. And then they just came back and they're like, all right, how about an hour? And I was like, all right, I can't believe 
how lucky I am. And immediately I think, I can't believe how lucky Leanne is. <laughs> I mean, that chick just blindfolded walking through the fucking world. At least I had a fucking path. She's just holding on to my tail. <laughs> Uh, I mean, for real, I was a loser. She, I could have been a fucking loser. Yeah. How fucking lucky did she get? She got so lucky. She got so fucking lucky. Yeah. Like, this isn't supposed to work out. Yeah. This, can you imagine meeting me when I was, I was broke? I was broke and I got her pregnant and I was still a fucking lunatic. Yeah. And all the people that, by the way, I feel bad because I didn't like the people that hated me. They were like, you need to get away from him. He's bad news. I was like, fuck them, fuck them. And I was like, now I look back, I was like, no, they were doing the right thing. Really? They were doing the right thing. Do you think if if you if you hadn't gotten her pregnant, would you guys have stayed together? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, I knew. I, that was the one for me. Yeah. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. I will tell you this. This is going to sound shitty. I remember getting her pregnant. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, getting her pregnant and going, cool, she can have babies. She's definitely the one. <laughs> I say that's a fucked up thing, but I, I I definitely wanted to have kids. Like I wanted kids, I wanted kids probably more than a wife. I I wanted to be a dad. Yeah. And so when she like, and we were watching our friends that couldn't have kids, and I was watching what was happening to them, and it was like fucking breaking them up, and it was they were fighting. And when Leanne got pregnant, I was like, now I know she's the one. Was was George born in '03 or '04? George was born in '04. I met you. Um, right, like as she was a baby, she was only like a month or two old. You guys brought her to the Brea Improv. Yeah, yeah, and and I and it was weekend. I was working with you. It's the first weekend I worked with you. Can you believe how lucky? Like, I'm trying to think of this right. So, like, so as you ready for this? Yeah. As lucky as Leanne was to have met me, yeah, I was to have met you. Let me pitch it to you. Okay. You're not a big sparkle guy. Uh-huh. Okay? Right. If I, if I am, so I, I am, I am a tomahawk steak. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of presentation. Yeah. Maybe not the best kind of meat. A lot of presentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are a petite filet. Okay. Where it, but you're just on a plate by itself. So when you see it, you're like, what am I going to do with this? Yeah. And then they're like, you try it. And you're like, okay. And then you cut it and you're like, oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> but but you but you but you go, but you go, but you go, it's not enough. I'm gonna need more. And they're like, trust me. Uh -huh. Just enjoy it. enjoy it. And then for you, because you're a petite filet, you get you really enjoy it, you get done, you don't feel sick to your stomach, and you're like, that was perfect. But I can't believe I found you. Like I can't believe I am I can't believe. Why are we friends? Like, what, like I'm trying to remember, like, what st what made you fun for me? Because you know me, I'm all about, like, fucking being a lunatic. Yeah. What made you fun for me? Don't know. I really don't know. I do remember that I enjoyed you immensely uh, early on. And I, you fucking, you know, you made me laugh off stage, but you were on stage, but you were, you were a really... You know, you're very, you were very sweet and very endearing, and you all, you always were like, I could see you had a really genuine, nice side to you. Like, you didn't see that many comics that you meet. Like, comics weren't always like, "Hey, are you all right?" You know, like, like you, yeah. you'd make sure everyone was like, I could tell you were a good person, and so I, I, I trusted you. I think that, that's the thing. I think is that I just, I trusted you, which is weird because I don't trust you with information. Oh, you but couldn't. I, I, no I trust could. you, like with everything else. You know. I remember telling Aaron Rodgers to stop talking. I was like, don't, I don't, I shouldn't hear any of this. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about a panic, by the way? I yeah. texted Aaron Rodgers for the Greek and I was like, hey man, if you need tickets. And then I no reply like two days before. So I'm like day of them or no, three days before. And then two days before I'm like, you know, just want to hammer you. And, and then he wrote back. He was, he wrote back. I'm not going to tell you what he wrote back. Why do I do this? What the fuck is wrong with me? Why is, what is that? What is that? Here's what I think about you. And this is, I, I keep going back to this. It's the things that made me laugh that I didn't think other people saw mm -hmm. is what made me like you. Like I, my one of my favorite, like it was, you know what it is? It's the same thing Leanne does. It's an acute awareness of who I actually am 
and and pointing out who I actually am to me. Yeah. Sometimes I was almost like calling me all my shit. Right. Yeah. And you did that vi- uh, like probably soon, very quickly. quickly. Yeah. And I and I remember going like, oh, I I enjoy that. I enjoy. It's the girls do that to me. The girls are like, will point out things. I remember saying, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into it. But like, uh, like I remember I made a joke to Georgia about her prom, and she was like, uh, and she just like the way she shot me back is the thing I like about her. Right. Like I made a joke about what her friends or they shouldn't do. And then she just kind of like, uh, or, or, who are you talking to right now? And it, I was like, Oh, that's, I like that. I don't know why. Remember one time. When you remember, just, how many times do you think you burp? <laughs> you oh, remember, yeah, I remember yeah, that yeah, yeah. so vividly. That was you, on the way to Brea too. Yeah. You were going to Brea and I said, I don't know. Once, twice, you go 20. I just counted 20. I just counted 20 in the last five minutes. <laughs> And I went, really? And I burped. I went, oh, I just burped then. You're like, oh, no, you burped nonstop. You burped nonstop. You were like, <laughs> like the whole drive. And I was like, are you okay? And you're like, I think I'm fine. And then the next week, you're like, turns out I got something going on with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you remember, um, well, yeah. Then we, I mean. <laughs> the best is one of my fans. Like, I love, there's, there's, I don't think, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe everyone sees it in you. But like I, my favorite ones are the are your eyes speak so many sentences without with just the littlest movements, like the littlest movements. Remember when we found? Remember we had that friend who locked himself in his room was going to drink himself to death because yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I remember. Look on your fucking face. I remember. It's my favorite. The fucking look on your face. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, has that guy ever talked about that since? Not in those terms, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, that was a fucking. That was a good time. That was a really um, great fucking time. We should go to Hawaii. We should do a trip. Oh, you're, you got to bring kids. Yeah. Manscaped is designed with fathers in mind, and the Performance Package 4.0 is here just in time for your pop's special day. Inside this package, he'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, Performance Boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold his goodies. It's Father's Day. You got to take care of Dad. I mean, Dad never gets the thanks that Mom gets, and this is a great way to tell your dad, or some dad, that you're thinking about them and their dick and their balls. Their fourth-generation trimmer features a cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin-safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof and also has a 400K LED spotlight he needs for a more precise shave, probably like near his asshole. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash bears. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash bears. Shake what your mama gave you? Nah. Shake what your daddy gave you. Thank your dad. It's because of him busting a nut that you're even here. When you run a business, time seems more precious. Every misplaced moment feels like a missed opportunity, a lost chance to make your business better, or even just to step away and recharge. ShipStation automates time-intensive shipping processes so you can get back to focusing on bigger things like developing new products, honing your marketing strategy, or interacting with with customers. We've used ShipStation and I really love the interface that lets you see very clearly what orders have come in, what's shipped out, who is shipping them, how it's getting there. All those manual shipping tasks are eating up your time. Of course they are. ShipStation is really good at those. So let ShipStation handle all your shipping and handling and get back to what you're good at, growing your business. It's time to let go of all those shipping tasks. ShipStation can do it better and faster. Sign up for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com slash cave and start saving time on every shipment. That's two whole months of shipping made quick and painless, and it's free to try. Just go to ShipStation.com slash cave. ShipStation, make ship happen. I was thinking about this, that you're turning 50, Mm -hmm. and Georgia will be going to college. Yeah. And Isla will be a junior next year. Junior. She's got her braces off. So she's almost like out, like two years, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And so I will be 50 in seven years. What? 
And in seven years, my oldest will be in eighth grade. And my youngest will be in sixth grade. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, get out so I'll be an old dad yeah Jesus now, how old were you when Georgia was born I was 32 yeah I was 32 I was uh I wasn't ready for it though I'll tell you what I don't I mean I've actually I'm, I'm sure I've spoken about this I remember like, you would wear button down collared shirts yep with a yeah. t-shirt underneath you're always in that. I was a I was a broke dad. You don't get to be a broke dad, which trust me, that fucking sucks. Being a broke dad. Yeah. I don't but I didn't and then it's like I didn't get to enjoy times with the kids because I was like because I was I had no career. This is back before the internet was a way you could make money. Yeah. So I would sit there, I could enjoy reading a book to the girls. I'd have to like just reading it, I'd have to do Sam Kinison voice to them, where I'd go baby beluga in the deep blue sea dive 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 oh, the, the nishimaru's coming for you you're gonna taste your own blood like i couldn't i couldn't oh i used to i I used to do and i'd curse i'd be like oh suck that whale cock suck that whale cock oh, 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 oh. and so isla one time <laughs> nominated me to she was in kindergarten she nominated me to read a book to her class and so i'd go and i Open the book, and I'm like, it's Baby Bluger or something. And she goes, duh, duh. like, I'm reading it. And she goes, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? She's like, do a daddy voice. I went, what? She goes, oh. I go, are you, oh, baby, I can't. She's like, dad. She looks around, and she's like, he'll do it, he'll do it. Like, she had told her friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, my dad reads books better than anyone. And yeah. they're, this is before class. All the parents are in the back. And they're talking, and they're chit-chatting. And I was like... I go, baby, I, I don't I don't think I can do this. I guys I use daddy words. She goes, just just do it. So I brought her class in close and I was like, okay, I'm gonna read a special part of this book, but we gotta be real quiet, okay? So I was like, Baby Beluga. And I was like, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Deep blue sea. Oh, 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 oh! You're gonna die, Beluga. I just doing Sam Kennison's yeah. I took a glass truck ran over my face. I'm tasting my own blood. Oh, oh, oh! And the kids are crying, laughing. And one of the dads is like, are you doing Sam Kinison? And I was like, I'm a comedian. I just do Sam Kinison's voice. And and then and, and I was like, I got done. And she was like, oh, thanks. I thought you were yeah. bombing. I was <laughs> yeah. like, but I couldn't. I, being a broke dad sucks. Yeah. It sucks, man. It sucks. Like, there's a few things I'd, I'd make a charity for. Broke dads is one of them. Like, but it's just Christmas. Like, the times. It's okay. Like, just the times when you should spend extra money. That is where I'd make a, like, we're just a little sparkle in life. Yeah. You know, like, uh, but you probably, never... you could probably identify some broke dad and do that. Yeah. You could. could. It's, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's too much work already. Yeah. It's too much. But yeah. like, you get to have like, like, like you're like, I, I'm, I get jealous. I get jealous thinking of the life your kids get to have. Cause they're going to, I mean, growing up fucking skiing, fucking wakeboarding. Yeah. Fucking. You guys will take fucking badass trips. You're like, hey, we're going to Montana. Let's go fucking get motorcycles and yeah. dirt bikes. Yeah. And like, you're, like you're gonna, they're gonna have fucking cool shit. George and Isla, um, they got to have good vacations. They got to have great vacations. They had a great life. They've they've had a great yeah, life. Yeah, I'm taking them to Italy. That's awesome. Where yeah, are you I'm going? Uh, I don't know. We, we we have a travel agent plan and everything. It's for George's graduation. She wanted to go to Europe. She wanted to go to Italy specifically. And I said, uh, I said. I said we can afford it. Let's do it. Let's, are you, you going to keep the Italian boys away? You know they're real fucking animals. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Is that what they do? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like that. You like that? I don't think that Leanne will get that much attention. <laughs> the uh, I want the girls to have fun. Like I don't want them to go around and fuck a bunch of Italian dudes. But like, <laughs> but like. <laughs> But I want them to, I want them to have fucking fun. I want them to like sneak out and get drunk and like have fun. Yeah. Like I want them to have fun. George is going to college. She's got to have fucking good times. Yeah. I mean, don't rob a train or anything, but pay you know off what, for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> the uh, Christina has taught Julian, who's three, that "darn it" is the worst word. Right. So she does a, a reaction, and it's like, oh, this oh, trying great. to get him to say that. But he just throws it in with everything else. So <laughs> he gets real mad at me sometimes. 
<laughs> like we FaceTimed the other day and he was in the pool. I go, hey, man. He goes, I don't want to talk to you. And I go, hey, I just want to say something. He goes, you're a fucking darn it. And I was like, <laughs> I go, what? He goes, you're a fucking darn it. I'll cut your skin off. And I was like, well, he's got his dad's jeans. Yeah, um, Jason Nash. You remember Jason Nash? Yeah. Jason Nash had, he always, I don't know, he never really like fully, fully committed to stand up. Mm -hmm. And so like you'd get these really sparkles of genius from him. And and I'd always go like, God, man, if you just only did stand up, you'd be great. Because he does like a lot of video. Like He does, he yeah. does a vlog. YouTube, he's yeah. good friends with David Dobrik. They're like best friends. Yeah. And so, uh, and so he had, and he's one of the more creative dudes I know. It's crazy that people only know him from vlogs. I, I've known him for a very you know, long, a long time. time. Yeah. I knew him and his wife. And when his first, his wife, Marnie, one time said, Hey, I just walked by your son's room. His kid his son was a baby. And he goes, and he said, Fuck it. And she goes, Will you talk to him? And so he goes in and he goes, Hey, buddy, mom said you said, Fuck it. And he was like, Yeah. He's like, what did you say it about? And she was, he was like, he's like, I just said it. And he's like, well, no, you got to say it when you need to say it. Like if you're looking at your Legos and they're overwhelming you, then go fuck it and walk out of a room. Or maybe look at your career and just go fuck it. Maybe look at your marriage and go, ah, fuck it. <laughs> he goes, all right, take care, bud. <laughs> this is like his joke. It was so good. It was like taught, teaching your kid how to curse. Yeah. Isla said, Isla, when she was a kid, said, when I'm 16, I get to curse. I went, that's not how that works. She goes, it is. In my book. And she's 15 and she is chomping at the bit. She goes, At 16, I get to legit curse, Dad. Oh, she doesn't do it now? She doesn't curse. All she does is she flicks me off. So, like, when Leanne's not looking, she goes, And I go, What the fuck is that for? And she's like, eh. And Leanne, but she doesn't. If they curse, curse do they get reprimanded? Jo uh, no, Leanne will light them up. She will. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Uh, like, Georgia, Georgia. When Georgia turns 16, Isla's like, I'm so jealous. You get to curse now. And Georgia's like, I don't think that's how it works, Isla. But Isla thinks it's like a law that it, at 16. You get to, yeah. Yeah, she, but so she's got, uh, she turns 16 in July. And she, she's going to be lighting motherfuckers up. <laughs> she'll be Joey D. She'll be motherfucking cocksuckers. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, you, you're going to have, man, you're going to But I wish, I wish I could start over. I would love to have a new family. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mine, mine's done. Like yeah. it's like they're going to college. Great. What do you think you're gonna do? You mean show up at college all the time? No. Like is that what you're gonna do? Go visit them a lot? She want. She don't want me to. But so what are you gonna do with yourself? What am I drinking? Uh, what are you gonna do with yourself? Like when you're used to having your girls around. And goes. Well, we'll just. I'll just do the road with you. Oh <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have Captain Buzzkill come out with us. Can't wait. Hey guys, show's over. We's, we's going to bed. <laughs> Everyone's going to bed now. By the way, I think when I do Leanne's accent, I think I'm doing a black person's accent. I mean, you did say Weez is going, yeah, to, bed. going it sound, to bed. It sounded like some she 19. Doesn't, well, she doesn't like the way I do her accent. Why? I did it on, I've been doing it on stage. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, well, shit, ain't nothing new in my hometown, but like, I, I, like, I can't. She's like, bro, that's not how she I goes, talk. I, she goes, I don't like my representation. You don't you don't do my voice right. Uh, I there was a joke there was a joke I had of, that I can't tell on our special, but I can tell here. Um, she she went to a family reunion and, and ran into the dude she was dating, and her dad said, "Shit, you kin, but you ain't blood." I fucking said, "You kin." That's what she said. You kin, but, but you, you ain't, ain't blood. blood. Yeah. Which is like a big yeah. difference. Yeah, sure. <laughs> she made blood. I mean, she's really from some. She's from like dirt road. Oh yeah, dirt roads, dirt roads, dirt roads, pastures, fields, cattle. Like cat. Like uh, you. I remember. You, I learned from her dad. You don't ever. Ask, her grandfather. Her grandfather was a fucking amazing dude. I mean, that guy was fuck. He could tell a story. And I remember asking him how many cows he had, and he said, "Boy." You'll never ask a man how many cattle he has. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, I think I need to look in the field and count them. I was like, why, why would I? Ask? Like, I just it was yeah. a conversation topic. And then I, we're in the car and he goes, we're in his truck and he goes, so look into a man's, out of nowhere, he goes, it's a look into a man's bank account. Oh. Because 
That's that's where he invests his money. Sure. That's his stocks. It's like saying, how much money do you have? Yeah, yeah, how much money do you have? Yeah, it's exactly. And I went, ooh, fuck. And then we went to a ranch in Texas, and someone goes, so how many cattle do you have? And the guy was like, huh? And I was like, hey, don't ever ask a man how many cattle he has. Yeah. And then he was like, well, thank you, bro. Thank you, son. And I was <laughs> like, thank you. Sure thing, John. <laughs> That guy was a fucking, I ran cattle in Texas yeah. for trip flip. That guy was a fucking treat. Remember, did you ever see the clip of me buying my own cat, his, uh, buying a cattle? I think I may have, actually. It's the fucking hardest I've ever laughed in my entire life. If you want it, I think I'm a different person when I'm with you. What do you think happens? I don't know. I feel safe. You do. See, that's the whole thing is that yeah. when you ask me like what, I don't know, like the thing I identified in you is that. I felt like totally comfortable around you. And I genuinely enjoy you. Even all your fucking craziness. I enjoy it. I'm tough to enjoy. Like I'm 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 like uh I'm a I'm a lot. No, you that for sure you're a lot. Yeah. But it it doesn't like bother me, you know. Like I when I went it. to the to the knife spider store? co shop, Let's I see bought it? this is a good one. How many did you buy? Like thirteen. <laughs> Whoa. This is a sharp knife, huh? It's a very sharp knife. Wow. Yeah. How does it go in? You got to push the, this thing? I'll do it. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Just cut your fucking hand off. Yeah, it feels like it would. Golden Colorado. This is nice, man. You fucking. Dude, you can. Oh, these right here? Oh, uh, I bought a knife for that. I actually have a knife that is meant for that. I got a knife. I got a knife that was in the space shuttle. I got that. This knife is this is a really Close pretty it. knife. Where is it? Like that. Oh, go like that. Um, I was a big. I went through a big knife phase. <laughs> I did when I was doing trip flip. I would always buy knives. Really? I'd buy knives wherever I was. So I was like, oh, it'd be cool to remember being here. And then when I bought this knife, and I don't remember where any of them I bought any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I went through a hatchet phase. I went through a shoe phase. Yeah. I've been in a big hat phase. I've been in a really problematic shoe phase for real well for a few years now but so wait, uh, what 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 but you don't I have to do, i'm building a new closet you don't do kicks you do like you do like designer shoes too. no no i do kicks too yeah of course let's talk shoes for a second <sighs> can i tell you what i bought drunk and don't remember buying what the jordan cements uh-huh i bought those i just found them on our bus yeah and i bought them over at uh where's the I, I'm I'm gonna fuck up. There's a bunch of drawers on our bus, you yeah. know, like in the back. They're all shoes, every single one. Really? How many yeah. shoes do you have on your bus? On the bus? Yeah. Uh, probably twenty, twenty-five. Okay, then Peter can go fuck himself. What? He, I, we, uh, we started putting my shoes under bunks. Yeah. And he was like, and he was like, yeah, you have a lot of shoes on this bus. I have like ten pair of tops. Oh no, more. I have running shoes. I have a pair of uh, Florida State shoes. Like FSU gave me some yeah. shoes. Yeah. If there's a shout out to fucking F the people at FSU were so cool. I, well, we've been finding too uh, on the road. You know, you look for things like activities. Yeah. So we find the like the hot sneaker store. Have you been to the one in Philly? No. Okay. Uh, what's the name? Hey, will you find yell for Peter to find out the name of the of, the, of my shoe shop in Philly? Can you can you Nadav? I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'll text him. The this place is the shit really i mean i gotta be honest with you too every time i've been in they've closed off the shop allowed us access and they've hooked us up hard as fuck and then i ended up and do, go, we ended up partying and going out to an open mic suplex sneakers suplex sneakers suplex sneakers on south street in philly Ooh. is fucking legit i mean dude they turned me on i think they turned me on to yeezys they turned me on to they they They've fucking been, yeah, and they've got a, a vintage shop across the street. I think they gave me the shirt I'm supposed to give you. Really? Yeah, some rapper from Cleveland or Cincinnati. Okay. I got to get you that shirt. I'll have Peter run it back over. But yeah, man, so wait, so wait, so our thing's on the road, dude, suplex. When, when are you in Philly next? Uh, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know that it's on my upcoming dates, but, you know, I always go to Philly a couple times a year. Yeah, uh, dude, you got to go. You gotta go, and and I'm telling you, hit them up before time. Let them know your size. It's it's such an addiction. So then let's talk about what shoes you like because I feel like I've I've tapped out. I'm yeah. a big Nike SB low dunk guy. Yeah, dunk low. I like the dunk lows. And and uh, 
And I, I love um, anything Virgil did. Remember yeah, when I found all the off white Remember when I found out he wasn't a French guy? He yeah. wasn't like an old French white dude? Yeah. yeah. You were like, what color do you think he is? I was like, yeah. white? Yeah. And you're like, oh, no. I like off whites. So then walk me into something I'm going to like. Because I don't, I don't like high tops. I got to be honest with you. I fucking hate high tops. I'm too fat to tie them. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you, I mean, like, it seems like you found your I know, but your you, style, you introduce but, me to something new. But there's, but there's, I think you should do a dive into the designer's sneakers, like the high-end designer sneakers, because really? you'll find one that's low, like, style like you like, and the, you're going to be like, no, 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 and you'll be like, that one, you <sighs> Dude, know? Have you seen, not to, not to do a shameless plug, have you seen my new slides? Uh, I saw I think, your. I think they're already on sale, so they, I think they've already sold out. The if, video of you dancing. Have you seen this? Yeah, but have you seen the slides? No. Go to Free Water. For Chrysler slides? No, those are my flip-flops. God, I love my fucking flip-flops. The By birdie the way, slide. There, there you go. Not even a joke. That these one? are my favorite. Dude. Oh. So these are the BK. There's Russian acrylic. Uh, go to the camo ones. Camo ones, they are so fucking comfortable, Tommy. I got them at an event. They made them, and they, they were like, hey, what do you think about doing a release of these? It's like standing on a fat person. They're... <laughs> It is, they are so fucking comfortable. comfortable. Okay. Are they for sale right now? Those are Leanne's. It looks like it. They are so fucking comfortable. She made those or designed those? Uh, yeah, so Leanne did the design. So if you zoom in, you can see that it, the camo is actually Leanne doing something. Is it her? That looks like a dog? It looks like a dog. I don't know. I can't see it. Like there's dot. Maybe it's uh, one of your great days. Oh, that's our, that's oh, that's one of our dogs. That's, oh, and that's then there's a then there's Mac, a design of a woman, and like then there's this. a design of a woman. So it's like Leanne came up with the idea. It was pretty fucking smart. Is that she a yoga like, pose she's doing? Yeah, she's doing a yoga pose. She was yeah, like she does yoga. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah she did yoga fucking twenty fucking years ago, guys. Okay? She's like, I love yoga. I love yoga. Go back to mine. See what my design is. <laughs> my design is she did this. She was like, it would be cool if you're doing camo. If you're in the camo. So it's like a little Easter egg. Oh yeah, that's a fucking flattering shot. Yeah. Oh, there. That's me. Oh yeah. yeah. And so, but they are comfortable as fuck. I'm gonna send you a pair. Okay. They're fucking comfortable as fuck. And uh, but that, but uh, and then I went in and I was like, oh, Kanye West did something similar. I was like, oh wait, I did something similar. <laughs> um. No, but I think you would enjoy that doing doing what I told you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you go to go to like a department store. Go to like a nice department store. Oh, really? Yeah, because all the, they don't carry what you normally see. Yeah. They won't. They won't carry like Nikes and Adidas, but they'll have every designer who you don't even know. But the shoes are out, so you just be like, no, 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 and you'll be like, what the fuck is this? Really? Yeah. And there's everything. You know what I got the other day that I thought as a lark, I got um, I got Red Wing boots. Oh yeah, I was like, because it was snowing wherever we were. Yeah, and I was like, really? I don't need boots. We were doing, we were climbing to the top of a mountain. Or oh something. yeah, I did see you do that. Yeah, and so uh, uh, I got red wing boots, and they and I, uh, they're re they're hard to get my foot into. Oddly enough, like I'm, I, I got the ones like see those ones in the middle. I got them in blue. I got those in blue, and I re but I really enjoy wearing them. And I don't wear them with socks because, and which is crazy because I'm not, I'm not, like I'm a sock guy. I'm a real sock guy. Yeah. Like, but I don't wear them with socks because Why? I have a hard time getting my foot in with a sock on. Okay. Oddly enough. But they're really fucking great boots. They're the ones, there's one I got the blue. Keep going. That's one I have. That's nice. And yeah, it's a good looking boot, right? Yeah. That's nice. I think I bought everyone Red Wing boots on my tour. Those are dope, dude. I like that's, my, that's a fun thing to do is when you go get treats for everyone. Yeah. Like we did when we went to uh, Divide and Conquer. Mm -hmm. I got everyone those Yavetas. Have you ever seen the Yavetas? Pull up Divide and Conquer. I know we talked about it last <laughs> week, but pull up the Yavetas. They're fucking great. You'd be a good Yavetta guy. You told me this. Yeah. Um, How know, do I spell why? that? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> nope. Just type in. <laughs> there you go. No, I don't know. I don't. No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. It's, it's already, it's already too late. It's it's gone. Oof. I gotta clean out my closet when yeah. I get home. That's it's what a, I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Tommy, that's what I'm gonna do. Wait, it's a good. First of all, it's a really good feeling. I keep doing it. And I'm gonna I, clean out. I'm gonna get rid of everything. You are. Yep. Whole new wardrobe. Whole new wardrobe. What kind of wardrobe? What's your style gonna be? Why have it? No, I will have one. Um. Oh, that's a good. Remember, we talked about styles. Yeah. 
uh, I think I'm going to just go t-shirt, jeans, flip-flops for a while and just be t-shirt, jeans, flip-flops. And But here's the deal. I have so many shirts, so many, so many shirts that like fucking I never wear. I never wear. I only wear, really only wear the the, uh, the James Purse shirts. It's like yeah. James Purse is the fucking dude. I would geek out with him the same way I would with, well, that I will with Jeff Tweedy. By the way, I wonder if I just got my, because I think they said you could come backstage and meet him. I wonder if they're going to see this and be like, I think that's a bad idea. Oh, uh, they might. Yeah, but whatever. I don't care. Yeah. I already don't know him. Yeah. It's not going to, like, I still want to love the fucking show. Yeah. This is what I would say about, about Wilco, about my, the way I've formed my business. And I mean this for every fucking person that has a business online. When we did the Greek, right? Yeah. I wanted to sell it out clean. That was it. Number one. I wanted it to be clean. I wanted to sell out every fucking seat. I don't know. I got OCD about shit like that. Same way I was for Red Rocks. I, I want it to be clean. I have Jeff Tweedy comes, Wilco comes into LA all the time and I don't know about it. I don't know about it. And I follow them on Instagram. I follow their newsletter. I follow everything on Wilco. How do you, how does that happen? It just comes in, they put them on sale and it's like, oh, whatever. It's, uh, you know, that's just the way, like Bright Eyes is it the Greek. I want to go see Bright Eyes. Have you ever, you know who Connor Oberst is? No. Oh, are you being serious? I'm being totally serious. Oh, you don't know who Connor, fucking Connor Oberst is? No, no. Dude, this guy is fucking. Oh, Tom. Is he like I, one of these guys that plays like 20 instruments? No, he plays the guitar and oh. he's fucking awesome, dude. Awesome. You've got to fucking li- download Bright Eyes right now. Listen to him. You're going to fall in love. It's, it's a little bit softer, a little bit more like mood music, like a little, this is the first day of my life. Like, you know, like fun. Mm-hmm. So like Connor Roberts is at the Greek and I, and I, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. And I'm not saying... I'm saying it's as an artist, it's his responsibility to get people that love him to the show, to come out to the sure, show. Sure. When you push your body too hard or just feel run down, it's extremely important to stay hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel better on a day to day basis. I'm feeling extremely run down, and I know I feel this way whenever I feel dehydrated. I'm going to actually tear open a pack of liquid IV as soon as I'm done with this because I need to get my system up and going. One stick. Of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C, with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, and it's made with premium non-GMO ingredients and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. You can get it in flavors like watermelon, lemon, lime, strawberry, pina colada, and more. Grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code CAVE at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code CAVE at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code CAVE. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh now has 30 dinner recipes to choose from every single week. That's the most choices of any meal kit. Discover seasonal summer recipes like cucumber salad stuffed pita pockets, chicken sausage stuffed peppers, Tuscan spice shrimp, and so much more. I love that it arrives pre-portioned. You know exactly how much to use, how long to put it into the oven or however you're supposed to prepare it. It gives you extremely clear details. And you're never wasting anything. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Cave16 and use code Cave16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Cave16. Use the code Cave16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Like, And, and I, I say this to Wilco. I, I have allotted, I have at least, at least $500 that's yours. It's in my bank account. Anytime you want it, you come to LA, I'll give it to you. I'll buy your merch. I'll buy your tickets. I'm going to have a fucking great time. Uh, by the way, I'm going to spend more than $500 on that night. I will. But I will buy every fucking shirt you have. I'll buy the poster. I'm going to buy all of it. I'll probably lose it at the Greek. I won't even remember to bring it home with me. But it's your money. I want you to have that. Because that's how much fun you have made my life. Yeah. I get to get in my car, get on a motorcycle, listen to Wilco, and I get to fucking jam out and disappear. It's so much fucking fun. That you've earned that money. When you come, by the way, I want to have that moment again. I want to see you live. I want to see you live. 
I remember where I sat at the Greek when I watched Wilco. But you don't, you don't, you're not getting the money from me because you're not letting me know you're there. Yeah. So that's how I work my business. So you're going to talk to Tweety about this when you say No, I won't bring this up. Okay. But this is, I, by the way, I will fucking take a year off to promote Wilco. <laughs> I fucking, listen, I would fucking, you know what I could do for their fucking business? I'm We'd sure be doing you, stadiums. Yeah. By the way, I don't deserve to be playing the same venues they play. I'm doing Red Rocks the day before he's doing Red Rocks. Dude, I, I'm like, trust me, I'm going to have to hustle to sell those tickets. They're, they're going to sell out clean the yeah. day they announce them, right? Sure. But like, but like, he, they, like, I, I think that way for people about us. Like, there's there's people watching right now that are like, Bert, what you just said about Wilco is how I feel about you and Tom. Sure. Like, hey, man, I can maybe it's like we're not as big of a thing as Wilco, but there are people going, hey, man, I got a hundred bucks to give you. Yeah. Like, come, I'll buy tickets, I'll buy good tickets, and I'll buy a shirt. I, I, I would love to. I just, my it's my responsibility to let them know that you're I'm gonna coming meet to their it. town. Yeah. It's not their responsibility to find out when I'm coming to their town. There's, do you remember there was comics? They're not bleep this name. Who consistently would be like berate the fans. Berate the fans. I was just in your city. You need to sign up for my newsletter. Go fuck your newsletter. It's your responsibility to promote every single day. If you have an open seat every single day until the day that show airs, the, the day you do that show, so that there's a hey man, there was a young lady that was in Tulsa the other night who's driving across country and was like, oh my dad and I are big fans of yours. And I'm by, I, I was I was online. I saw your Instagram post, and I was there was a single seat left. I grabbed it. I was so cool. And I, I appreciate you posting about it. And so that's why I look at like Wilco when because I get bummed when I'm like Wilco was just here. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. And I identify with that guy who texts what's his name and is like, yo, when are you coming to Boston? And he's like, I was just there, motherfucker. Yeah. You know. So, but I I don't know. I think it is that, annoying when somebody follows you online though like follows like your instagram yeah. and goes when are you coming to boston like like i'm promoting it on this platform yeah oh so, well yeah. yeah well not everyone is not everyone is like online all the time no no it's true it's why it's why there is a, a, a not just an argument you should promote something more than once promoting it once doesn't mean that like it's promoted oh, you know? oh yeah not at all a lot of people do that they're like i put it up and that was it no 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 we do i do hard pushes look i mean the only thing i do that's good arguably is stand up Stand up in this podcast. Yeah. I'll tell you about, if you don't know about Two Bears, I'll sell you hard as fuck on Two Bears. Do you, I've done it before. I've done it before. My, yeah. Your dad says, I, you have a podcast. I say, yeah, you being serious? And they say, yeah, what is it? Like, I say, I have two. Birdcast, which is a different vibe. And then Two Bears, I do it with my best friend. And I go, if you haven't watched Two Bears, you're sleeping. And they're like, what do you mean? I go, just Google Kool-Aid. Yeah. Immediately. Dude, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I go, yeah, it's me and my best friend. We're in our, inarguably two of the funnier dudes in this country. <laughs> I mean, without a fucking doubt. Without a fucking doubt. I mean, we're legit, legit. Yeah, yeah legit, legit. We're, we're top 20 okay. on sure. Netflix. Sure. Like, we're, we're funny fucking guys. Yeah. And we love each other, and we fuck around, and we say regrettable things, and we get drunk sometimes, yeah. and we get high, and we put butt plugs in our ass, and yeah. we fucking threaten Jennifer Aniston, yeah. and we fucking drink Kool-Aid. Yeah. I drink Kool-Aid. A gallon a day. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Here's the deal. I, I, I don't get, I, like, I, motherfucker, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's, yeah. Like, it's like, I'll sell you on some Somebody, shit I, I know is good. I was, uh, I was in a hotel gym, and uh, the Celtics were in town playing whatever city we were in. And uh, one of the Celtics was in the gym and he goes, oh man, I'm a big fan of two bears. And uh, I go, oh, thanks. And he goes, can I take a picture? And I go, yeah, sure, man. Wait, what Celtic? I don't remember his name. What? I don't remember his name. Uh, he was really tall. Okay. And uh, he- Pull up the fucking starting lineup of the Celtics. <clears throat> so just pull up the roster, not the starting lineup. Boston Celtics- 2022 roster. Um, and then it might have been, hold on, keep going. Uh, hit, I'll tell you. hit, hit, uh, go, go back to the left. Hit Sam Hauser. It was, I think it was Sam. Okay, keep going. Um, so anyway, I think. So anyway, so he takes a picture with me. 
you seen this big six seven yeah. dude and he's like i really appreciate it and you know he asked me what i'm doing in town and then he walks away well there's another guy working out in the gym just like some dude and he sees it all so he's like what does he listen to and i was like what he goes what did he say you you have a show i go oh yeah yeah he listens to two bears he goes what is that and i go it's a podcast and he's like oh i listen to podcasts i go okay good and he goes uh what's like the kind of the formula of that show like what are you talking about and i go listen man uh it's really hard to explain i go i go i, I don't i don't know if you'd like it <laughs> and he's like what and i go well he goes like what like what are your topic like what are the topics like what do you guys discuss is it like economy news and i was like no 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 and he was like so what is it i go it, we're it's comedy and he's like it's a comedy show i go it's called my Two friend Bears, doesn't know who justin yeah. trudeau is yeah. i was just uh you can look it up i i did like the opposite of selling him i was oh. like i go i i think it's leg day we got we got to go so it, that's how i sold him he was like oh, all right no. i love i love when uh like I, my favorite is when to hear someone hear someone sell it to someone else yeah so like we were in a restaurant the other day and the our chef came our chefs there's every chef by the way that i go to wherever we go to any like restaurant not chef chef but like the cooks yeah they're always like one guy yeah. came out there and he goes i'm listening to you right now right now I get right that, now yeah. i'm like oh cool but it's fun when someone goes wait what is it and then they have to explain it in front of you yeah and they're like oh it's uh i don't know it's like um it's like uh they're like he's a, oh it's Leanne oh hello what's up baby doll uh nothing I'm doing two bears one cave with Tommy oh oh well you might find this interesting for two bears one cave what's up your daughter Isla got busted at school for gambling <laughs> 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 Wait, she's shooting dice? <laughs> dice! <laughs> yeah, she's playing left, right, center. Oh, for money, for money at lunch, and she got busted. Wait, is she in trouble? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Jesus uh, Christ. I think she might be in a little bit of trouble. She's gambling at an all girls Catholic school <laughs> for money. Dice! Fucking. <laughs> Domino, motherfucker. Right? Oh. I thought I'd let you know. All right. All right. That's, so, can we call Isla? <laughs> <laughs> she's detained at the moment. She's, uh, she's like, <laughs> are you fucking serious? She's in the principal's office. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's being detained for shooting dice. Motherfucker. You know? God damn it. I don't think she knew it was technically gambling. I don't think she understood. But yeah, yeah she got in trouble for gambling. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Well, when do you when do you get into Austin tomorrow morning? Yeah, tomorrow morning. Okay, man. Uh, <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Bye, Bye Tom. Bye. Bye. Fucking Isla. Yeah, the Isla stories never end. <laughs> Yeah. That's fantastic. That's a good one. That's a good one. What if you like? What? How much were you gambling? She's like, like four hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I go, why? She goes, I'm just fucking looking for something to make me feel alive. <laughs> a long day. I'm fucking this break. Yeah. I that fucking child, man. That child has been a fucking her and her sister. I loved. I loved having kids. It was so much fun. I would do it again. Yeah. Leanne's done. I would love to get her pregnant yeah. now. It'd be fucking awesome to sneak one past the Goldie. Hey, I should measure myself now. After what happened? It's been two days. Um, okay. Um, okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, what were we talking about before Leanne called? Oh, listening to people describe two bears to someone in front of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's... uh. It's there's ones where I go like like when we did the, the the Stefano one I I did and it's kind of crazy but I didn't want to promote because I didn't, like I was I was nervous that uh, 
people just mock us for getting for emotional for crying so fucking hard no, i think people actually really connected with that yeah i don't know i don't read it i i really try not to and i i do dabble every now into the comments like i'll see like i'll post a video and i'll be like oh that it was a cool video oh, it's getting a lot of likes and i'll like every now and then dabble in the comments and then just one comment will fuck it up for me yeah of course and i'm like god damn it if you just just and like, and I told my, I have a team, I have a team who, you know, does my social media for me. Yeah. So like, uh, like they do everything. I, I send them everything. They post everything. Um, and I just shoot it and then I, I stay out of the mix that way. And, uh, and they, uh, they'll be like, comments are great on this one. And I was like, Hey, if I go, just so you know, don't delete anything bad. If it's bad, leave it up. I don't want to delete anything. Yeah. yeah. So once I, I go, just, it's. And I go in, and I, I I'll tell Leanne like Leanne reads all her comments. I go, don't read your fucking comments because they're good. Because the good ones mean as much as the bad ones. It's true, you know. I can't it's help true. it. Though I do every now and then. Like, like it's hard uh, to resist, but you're totally right. The the you're the best ever. You're the great. All that stuff is as meaningless, and it should be as you're the worst. You suck. All, like you know, yeah. you can't buy into either one. I read in I read someone else's comments one time. Yeah, I read someone else's comments, and I got trashed in their comments. And I was like, motherfucker. They're like, I bet Bert fucking died. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's this nothing isn't, to do with I'm me. not even on this fucking thing. I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Uh, all right. Look, I'm exhausted. All right. Let's, should we? Uh, yeah. Let's should, wrap it up. You want to wrap it up? Yeah. I'm really glad you introduced me to stem cells. Good. I'm glad you're getting them. Again. And what are you going to? Oh, this is what I wanted to ask you. Because you're a treat guy. You like treats. Yeah. You've been on a big tour. Yeah. You're about to do another tour with your fully loaded, and you'll tour some more in the fall. So what's a year-end birdie boy treat going to be? You got to get treat yourself. Oh, that is the greatest fucking question anyone's ever And let me give you me. some advice. Okay, okay. Don't ask Leanne what she thinks. No shit. Just do it. All right. So let's let's put a, let's, I'll tell you what one of my treats would be, Jeff Tweedy playing at my house. That would yeah. be a fucking great I treat. I also wouldn't, I would, I would book it before you, and, and then be like, guess what I did? You know what I mean? Like, if you do it. Oh, yeah. I would never tell Leanne. Yeah. I just do it. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, I'm throwing a surprise party for myself. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, okay. I'll tell you treats I want. Okay. Um, I want, um, I want a sailboat. Wow. Yeah. Like, I kind of want a sailboat. Like, I kind of, I, I want to do something like everyone seems to have hobbies, but me. Like, you like race cars. You like fucking, you do things. You do things. Mm -hmm. You have interests. Rogan hunts. Like I want to have an interest, and I was like, maybe I'll do sailing. I'll be, so I'll have to be sober, because you can't yeah. sail drunk. I was like, maybe I'll get a sailboat. Uh, maybe I'll do like a. I don't. I wish I liked cars more. Like I wish I really liked cars. Like I, the car you have out there, I saw. I was like, it's a beautiful car. Yeah. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I enjoy driving fast. Yeah. Like I enjoy like. I, you can still get cars that are. That aren't fast, that are just fun to drive I'll and tell you cruising. What I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing. For, what? For, for I think I'm I'm toying with the idea for for, for fully loaded and for tours, getting um, a sprinter van that we can pull behind the bus, so that when we get to a city, we have a van to get take us places. I would That's love cool. a sprinter van. That's nice. I would love a sprinter van to take me around, like to, when I go to spots, have a driver come get me, take me to the show, do the spot, and come home. I love a sprinter van. Yes, yeah, those are key on the road. Okay, maybe let's let's go smaller prize, treats. Okay, um, motorcycle. Really, I love. I'd love to get a motorcycle. Maybe I will get a dirt bike. Very cool. I mean, a watch is what I would get. Right? Why don't you get it? Uh, what does that mean? I don't, but I don't have any. I don't like any more watches. Oh, it's like the same with shoes. Like I, I like Rolexes, and I got one, and I and I, I have two, I have three, and I like them, but I but I. Don't know that there's another one that I really like. Like, I got like you. when you st like you one time I think you texted me a picture and you're like, oh, this is a badass Rolex, and I was like, I was like, I want to know why. Like, I don't know why. Yeah, then I mean, I think you just need to. I like, I like your watch today. Thanks. It's good looking. Thank you. And then I was like, oh, I like that watch. And then I was like, and I, when we were doing that meeting in there, I was like, I'm just wearing the same watch every day. I just wear the same watch every That's day. That's fine. It's what you like. Um, just go with go with what you. What like. are you going to do for your when your when your tour is over in two thousand twenty seven? <laughs> what are you going to do with your? What are you going to treat yourself? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. If it, it feels far away, I um, wouldn't mind. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind. What I'm, I, you know, we've been toying with this. I wouldn't mind buying a house in Austin. That's cool. I know. That's cool. 
like a like a like a because here's so much I, I i would love to fucking Have be here place. and then just hang yeah and not feel like i'm rushed to be in in two days and two days can i introduce you to a realtor yeah okay that'd be hilarious if can you I did tell you that whose house without I love? telling me i love our i love our doctor's house really i love his house oh yeah do, yeah do you think i should text him and tell him i want that coffee tomorrow yeah that coffee was fucking amazing amazing um dude i remember leanne took me to see the uh rednecks of comedy not the red the blue collar comedy tour. blue collar comedy tour she was like she was like she bought us tickets and was like uh, i really want you to see this this these are like my favorite comics she loved she loved the kings of comedy yeah so when this came out she's like this i'm gonna love and leanne cackled cackled through the whole fucking thing and i was looking at through a comic's eyes yeah so like i was laughing but i was like i was like oh, okay maybe I, I got that joke not you know whatever when ron white came out and told tater salad i i there's there's a handful of jokes that i can tell you today that i go pivotal in the way i see comedy like kevin hart did um kevin hart did um did shack's Shaq and Cedric's All Star Comedy Jam. Yeah, he followed three dudes. Followed uh, I almost remember this: Tommy Davidson, D. Ray Davis, uh, Ari, Ari Spears, and it was and then Kevin Hart. I think yeah. is the lineup. Kevin Hart closed it, and everyone else was out there doing like adult material because it was you know it's everyone's like pussy eating or I mean, not yeah. to, not to dis yeah. not to take away from anyone else's set, but like talking doing what I would do is I would go for like man I went down on my way went whatever. Kevin Hart went out and talked about his kids. That's it. And I realized, I realized very quickly, oh, everyone in that room's got kids, pretty much. Everyone identifies with that material. And I was like, and that's what he's going through. Why would he talk? What, like, that's who he is. Yeah. I remember fucking being like, holy shit, man. You don't have to be something you're not to be funny. Like, I wanted to be like dot, 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 or dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Or, I'll just say Dane Cook was like, yeah. cool, hip. Daniel Tosh, yeah. cool, hip, young. I wanted to be that, but I had kids. And I was like, oh, he's just talking about who he is. Changed the way I saw everything. Um, Bernie Max, I ain't scared of these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of those moments where you're like, oh, that's a that's a fucking, he, this is on the fly. He's doing this. And Ron Weiss Tater Salad story, it was a game changer for me. I was like, I was like, dude, if I could, if I remember legit saying, if I could have one story that good, I'd sell my soul to the devil. And then, the, I, I, and, then and then, and then I remember watching him do it and he didn't tell it on stage. And I was like, oh, oh, it's my favorite thing you've ever done. Please do it. And he was like, I don't do it. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, well, okay, well, sit down. When I was 22 years old, I got involved with the Western Mafia. He's like, what? And I was like, you're going to hear it. <laughs> I told that story to Amanda Knox. You did? Yeah. On the podcast? On the I'm fucking horrible. Oh Jesus! All right, we got to rock. We got to go. I, by the way, I barely feel feel buzzed. Well, as you should. It's time we get started. Are we done? We don't have to do reads, do we? Motherfucker! All right. Hey. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call two bears, one cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave